Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelvin Kilman. I'm here in Seattle, Washington. I'm a music teacher. I also sing in a band called Winter State, and uh, I have a degree from Berklee College of Music. Uh, I asked you guys to send in some of your music, and you did not disappoint. Man, there are so many cool songs. Um, I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get to these, but honestly, I wanted to listen to them all carefully, and you sent in some pretty bomb stuff. So uh, without further ado, let's check out some of these songs. The very first is an orchestral piece by Kelsey Joanne Rogers, and it is called Allurement. Let's take a listen. So that was Allurement by Kelsey Joanne Rogers. Man, I'm, I'm guessing because this was recorded at Air Studios that it might have been part of your final project for the Berkeley Valencia uh, film scoring program. And man, I love those massive chords that you introduce us with. Um, and, and there's a lot of dynamics and energy to this piece. Uh, I felt like the, the strings were kind of pastoral and relaxing, then it kind of gave way to these playful chimes and this slowly rising tension. I really loved, I think it was a French horn line, it just really stuck with me, that slow, you know, build, build. Um, and I was very amazed by how effectively you use different parts of the orchestra. Uh, it seemed like every single section, the, the string section, the woodwinds, they all had their own motifs and kind of a unique character that came back uh, throughout the piece. Um, yeah, the horns were really majestic and those fluttering violins were very playful and fun. Uh, and I feel like you have some chords in there that are major chords with some upper structures that were just so bright. It was almost this like, I don't know, almost this like incredibly like uh, luminescent feeling. It was very like, very intense and almost that sometimes it was like, almost like uh, overwhelming, I guess is the word, but in a positive way. So thank you very much for sending that in. That is an awesome piece. And I hope you have a lot of luck with it and, uh, and placing more of your pieces into uh, film scores. All right, we're gonna take a look now at Loud Mouth Brass uh, doing their piece, Horizons. <laughs> So that's Horizons by Loudmouth Brass. I know they're out of Rochester, Minnesota. Man, I think that might be my new summer jam. That is, that is really catchy. I like the really tight brass harmonies 
And it's really like they kind of splash over those really contemporary drum kit beats. And I mean, it's funky, but it's accessible and it's got like this pop sensibility to the way you wrote it. So I think that's a lovely way to kind of have crossover appeal with this. Uh, there are a lot of fun breakdowns and builds and um, that chorus, man, that is catchy. Ba -da 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 -ba -ba. Yeah, um, anyway, it reminds me a little bit of uh, Express Yourself by Lettuce. I don't know if you know that song, but one of my all-time favorites. Uh, really good, feel-good, bubbly, contagious energy, and uh, wow, knocked it out of the park. Awesome. All right, next we're going to check out a song by Tag Ryan called Flames. Here we go. So that is Flames by ne uh, Nebraska-based artist Tag Ryan. Man, it's really a journey with that song. The uh, the kind of bass, <laughs> I can't talk today. Back masking on the introduction is is a little disorienting, but I, I love it. It reminds me of like a lot of like Pink Floyd type songs where they they do a lot of disorienting introductions and the swell takes you into it. Uh, yeah, it reminds me a little bit of Dark Side of the Moon that way. Um, the track quickly like turns into this kind of jaunty 12-8, and I like the folk influence guitar strumming and all those rich vocal harmonies you add throughout the piece. Um, I really like this classic rock feel you have going. Uh, and, and your vocal delivery is, is, is a, it's really interesting. It's like almost like a mixture of like Billy Joel or one of those classic singers, but with this kind of like arcade fire, like indie passion and intensity. Uh, for me, the highlight of the song is at the end of the chorus, you have these really unexpected chords. I'd have to go back in to listen to which ones they are, but man, they're really, really unique. And uh, I love how the pounding piano really just gives that harmony an extra boost. And uh, you, you have those beautiful choral vocal harmonies too to back it up. So excellent piece tag. Thanks for sending it in. And last, we're going to check out uh, The Path by Breakthrough, another band from Minnesota. Let's check that one out now. And maybe I should mention they sent an entire EP. So maybe I should just play you a selection of the songs. And uh, man, they're all great. Check it out on Spotify. Here's a little bit of The Path by Breakthrough. Wow, so that EP, it's its so diverse, and I feel like Breakthrough as a band, I had the joy of playing with them once I, um, I was doing their Backyard Bash with Winter State, and man, they are a very technical band. They have this prog 
uh, foundation, but very diverse. And I feel like they're really unafraid to explore different genres just to serve the message of their songs. They care more about that, it seems, than, than staying in a box. Um, so I know it's the brainchild of the Medine family. They, um, I think they're based mostly all in south, uh, southeastern Minnesota now. And um, yeah, there's that prog rock rooting to this sound, but I mean, they have everything in here. There's kind of that gypsy jazz track, Django Fett. There's the rich like horns and string arrangements on uh, the postage. And that song particularly reminded me a little bit of stuff off of the Arts and Crafts label out of, uh, out of Canada. Especially um, Star's song, Your Ex-Lover is Dead. Man, I love that song. And those beautiful like plaintive horns in the background just kind of triggered that memory in a very good way. Um, I feel like it's really hard to break down what this band's sound is without just telling you to go listen to the EP because um, it's, it's so many different things at once. There's that virtuosic guitar work. There are these really well-crafted and clever chord progressions, and uh, Catherine, Catherine Medine's vocals are just so versatile, and they draw from so many different styles, but it's all kind of woven into something new and, and beautiful. So I would say absolutely check out uh, the Path EP by Breakthrough. All right, thank you for tuning in and finding some new great music. Everything will be down in the links below. My name's Kelvin. I hope to see you again soon. Um, I would love to do another one of these, but it takes me a while, so uh, be patient. All right, take care. <laughs>